Speaking to Red Bull-owned broadcaster Cerverus TV, Marco suggested Perez was not as focused as Verstappen due to him being South American. He said, let's remember that he is South American, and so his head is not as focused as Max Verstappen or Sebastian Vettel. Well, to be fair, Max Verstappen is a lunatic, and Sebastian Vettel is German, and German people have superior levels of focus. Ask Anne Frank. So that's it. That's what all the commotion is about. He called Sergio Perez South American. But he meant it as a derogatory thing. And right, first of all, Helmut Marco looks like a guy that would play a Nazi in a Quentin Tarantino movie. He already gives off regime vibes. So I don't think it's a good idea for him to be criticising people based on their cultural backgrounds, yeah? And I bet if he was cast in a Tarantino film, like what was the film Inglorious Bastards? That's the one about the Nazis. I imagine if Helmut Marko was cast to play Hans Lauder, the SS guard, it would fit like a glove. I bet he's already got the uniform at home. And I, I also bet that there would be a few moments where they'd have to pull him back. He would get lost in the role. The, the scene where they're pushing all of the Jews or the actors that are playing the Jews, they're pushing them onto the train carriage. And then Helmut Marko would just start punching them in the head. And Tarantino runs over like, Helmut, what the bloody hell are you doing? That's not even in the script. It says, hands louder, stands and watches. You just broke this woman's jaw. And he's like, well, you know, I, I see a Jew and I just start swinging. I'm not saying Helmut Marko is a Nazi. What I am saying is, if he was playing a Nazi in a Quentin Tarantino film, it wouldn't be much of a stretch. Secondly, secondly, Sergio Perez is Mexican. And it's been a while since I looked at a map, but I'm pretty sure Mexico is North America, right? Correct me if I'm wrong but I think he is factually incorrect. And thirdly, there has been a Formula One driver from South America, and his name was Ayrton Senna. So I, I don't... It just seems like a dumb thing to say. And he's not a stupid person. He is a doctor. I don't know what a doctor of. In fact, let's look it up, shall we? Let me, let me Google... Google... Helmut Barco... Is he a doctor? Click. Here we go. Is Helmut Marko a doctor? Before starting his racing career, Helmut Marko obtained a doctorate, or a doctorate, in 1967. 1967. 1967. Right, let me just check when the Second World War ended, because that sounds a bit close to the regime days. How did he obtain his doctorate? That's a more important question. Did it involve removing the gold fillings from people's teeth? Because, do you know what? That actually would make perfect sense. If Helmut Marko was a Nazi doctor, but then after the Second World War, instead of going to America to work on the space program, he went to Red Bull to become a chief advisor. Now it all makes sense. This is just Operation Paperclip. Helmut Marko is a reformed Nazi war criminal scientist. Of course, he's going to be dropping a few not-so-subtle racist remarks. But he's come a long way from stitching twins together, or however the fuck he got his doctorate in 1967. I am impressed by Helbert Marco for the progress he has made. If all he is doing right now is dropping not-so-subtle racist remarks... And even more progress, according to SkySports.com, Helmut Marko apologises for offensive Sergio Perez's remark. He said, and I quote, I would like to apologise for my offensive remark, and I want to make it absolutely clear that I do not believe that we can generalise about the people from any country, any race, or any ethnicity. Well done, Helmut. We are all very proud of you and how far you've come. So that was the reformed Nazi war criminal doctor, Helmut Marko, keeping the Red Bull PR team on their toes. Let's see what he says next week. Because he does like to slag off Perez, doesn't he? And you know what? It is a bit out of order, especially the last one and the one before that, because I remember the last time he slagged off Perez, didn't he slag him off because he had a family 
and the fact that having a family might be impacting his performance. In fact, let me find the quote. I will conduct investigative journalism. Here we go. Helmut Marko, when he was asked about replacing Perez with Lando Norris, the SS guard said, Sergio is already over 30 years old and is expecting his fourth child. So he has other interests. Exactly. The point he's trying to make is that Sergio Perez will never beat Max Verstappen because he is happily married with a family who loves him. And maybe if he was alone and dead inside like Max, he might get a few more results. I mean, yes, technically Verstappen does have a family, but he stole that family off Danny Kvyat, so it doesn't really count. 